I'm going to call the Dunbar Board of Selectmen meeting to order for November 17th. 17th. I don't know if it's the right date there. Yeah, no, you sure did. Uh, all three selectmen are present. Um, town administrator is present. In the audience, we have Mr. Uh, we have the Chief Renard. And according for the citizens of Dunbar, we have Mr. Lee Martell. And he'll post the uh, uh, minutes with Linda Nickerson to you too for the citizens of Dunbar. Gentlemen, I have some minutes from last week. Uh, oh, I'll make a motion uh, to approve the regular meeting minutes from November 10th, 2023. I'll second it. Justin, you're going to abstain. Okay. Um, any discussion on these minutes? No. I was amended, I'm sorry. Okay. Well written as always. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. Okay. I'm opening up a public comment. You're on the agenda, uh, Chief. Not no public comment. Bring it back to the board. All right. Um, one thing we one of the we under, we're undergoing a salary review of all departments, and we did the um, wage review. We did the uh, transfer station in the last about a month and a half ago. Um, Lean has got some data and. She worked, she worked with all departments, and we have the police chief here to talk about the police department. He sent us a large document, a, an email to us. Uh, we should have a copy of it. But, um, you won't have a copy. Yeah. Very nice job. Thank was, you. Uh, it was helpful to see all the different towns you put in there. I noticed <coughs> just from reviewing it myself. Um, I reviewed it right after you sent it, and uh, the, the range of towns is really helpful. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, they were very similar sized and different ones were smaller and some had some different um, <coughs> different policies, but the breakdown to me I thought was so helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that feedback. And Lean, Lean was tremendous uh, working hand in hand with her. Um, to put to, She actually put together the Excel spreadsheet packet that you have in front of you. Yeah, um, this one here? Yes, yep. And I apologize for the length of my, my wage study. I, I want to try and provide as much information and data well, as I could. So I felt sorry for the trees you pulled. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. a, well, blew our budget out. I read it electronically, but I, I just thought that the uh, it's just going to give us such a basis to go on. Well, I think the biggest improvement is the fact that he put, he's making proposals to make a six-step system. And a six-step system gives something, rather than making work exhausting three steps, and then they we have an officer who's here at 10, 12 years, and he's uh, maxed out of his pay. He's looking around. How can I get a pay raise? Go to the next town. Right. Yeah. May I speak to that just, yes. just briefly? Um, Lean, is that okay? Absolutely. Um, so in, in 2012, and, and talking with Lean, we were trying to nail down the data. It was approximately 2012. Um, the town had no step wage system in place. So, for example, when I was hired in 2010, I was hired at a, a flat rate. I received uh, colas and things of that nature, but... Uh, in 2012, the town enacted a, a town-wide step system. So step one was upon hire, step two is three years, step three is five years. Um, and over time, what we found, um, not, not just specific to the police department, but after five years, you're maxed out. So talking with Lean, what our, our proposal is, is basically just to double that. So you would have six steps over the span of 10 years. So there's a nice steady wage progression every two years. They, they know what's coming, and that's in addition to whatever the COLA or CPI is for that given year. Um, but I think that will benefit all town departments because it gives people room for some wage growth. Um, you know, we, we have, um, prior to Officer McClellan's departure and, and Officer Patton's penny departure, they're both maxed out. So there's nowhere for them to go up. Um, I was maxed out as a sergeant in 2018, um, and I think moving to six steps is a, is a really good compromise to give people a chance to keep going up in, uh, in wage growth. And you'll see it's not, the, the dollar figure isn't tremendous, but it, it goes up incrementally. And it's a nice, modest, incremental increase to give people a chance to move up. I don't, I don't think the, the increases are excessive at all. Mm -hmm. I think they're very they're reasonable. Now, um, why don't we look at your chart and go through them uh, one by one, because I mean, sure. on our agenda tonight, we have some budget strategies, but this is our biggest thing, so I'd like to sure. spend a little time on it. Of course. And go through it, look at the percentages, and then just decide where we want to start at, and then see if those percentages make sense over those other years. I'm, I'm again, like Mike, I'm good with the six steps. 
Um, I just want to make sure it's something that the town can afford as well. So absolutely. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I. So what I what I did is um, you'll see that obviously I have the tables specific to um, the different positions that we have. You gonna start on the full time? Yes. Okay. I'm just. Uh, I apologize. Here we go. So proposed full time patrol officer wage adjustment. Um, you'll see we have a we have a trainee step one and a trainee step two, and the reason for that is if we hire a non certified officer. As the board knows, we have to send them through a considerable amount of training before they become certified. They have to go to the police academy, they graduate from that, they're certified, then they move to trainee step two, they're in field training for approximately uh, 12 weeks. Um, and then after that, in Dunbarton. In Dunbarton, yep. And then they, they would move to police officer step one, um, which is the equivalent of upon hire or upon certification. So to, to put that in perspective, Officer Tompkins. Um, he's at police officer step one right now, so he's at 52549. When did he go into that step? Uh, he went into that step How about last January. He's only been with us, yeah. Just, just he was the academy for October, November through December, and then he came on as a I think it was in the spring, okay. Yeah, yeah, because he, he was in field training for where are you, where are you on your uh, report here, Chris? That's what I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I should have put it's, page on the second page. to the last page, <coughs> page on the top. okay. So you went past this over here, yes. So that I'm on the proposal <coughs> okay. side of it. I, I'm happy to touch on where we are now. If you okay, like. I didn't know if you were going to go through these other ones first. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's that's a good suggestion. I just thought I, I got you know, ahead of myself. Follow it in <laughs> Um, so so I, I looked at towns contiguous to us nearby, but I looked at uh, towns of comparable and like size throughout Merrimack County. I pulled a few towns from Rockingham County, Hillsborough County, um, Cheshire County, and a few in the southern part, if you will, of Grafton County. So I really tried to find a wide subset of towns to look at. I know we did the same um, with her wage study. Um, so the 44958, um, that's what police officer trainee step one is right now. And I don't see any other town that low. Right, so a few towns, I know Marlboro, um, they're approximately 2,000 people, we're, we're at 3,000 people. They're right around that as well, and they do the same thing that we do, upon hire, if you're not certified. Next page. Top of the next page. Um, oh, okay, I didn't see that. But, you know, if, if you look at our wage range topping out for full-time patrol right now, it's 57,931. Okay, um, so let's go back. So we have 57 yeah. here. And you'll see, for example, the town of Antrim. Yeah. Holderness is 58. Yeah, Holderness, Holderness is, is about 1,000 people less than us. Um, Same thing with Lyme. Bradford, I mean, roughly half our size. Their patrol officers are topping out at approximately $6,000 more than ours. Um, and there's, you know, Antrim, smaller than us. They're topping out at 718 Antrim, you know, they follow the state police wage scale, which I found a few smaller towns do. I'm not asking for that today, um, but a lot of towns are moving to that model. And what you'll see with these smaller towns that are offering big bucks is they they have very to little turnover uh, because of the pay that they offer. Um, you know, uh, Newberry, that was another one. Their population is approximately a thousand less than us. Um, that's on the next page, top of the next page. Their patrol officers are topping out at 72.8. Um, so you can you can kind of see the wage disparity, and there's different steps, and some agencies have nine steps, some have twelve, some have five. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah, I did see that. Bo has nine. Yep. So there's there's not a lot of consistency in that regard. On um, the ones that have many more steps, do they have less percentage between the steps, or? It's it's an incremental growth. It's it's uh I I didn't extrapolate what the percent increases yeah. are, um, but it's a it's a nice so like using Antrim as an example. 51.4 to 71.8, I think that's that's nine steps. Yeah. They follow the, the state police nine step pay scale. Yeah. So they have a nice they have a nice steady progression. That's that's. And you don't know the percentages on their steps, all right? I don't. I could I could certainly try and figure that out. Um, but you know, and and you know, Sutton. Um, um, I was talking with the chief up there, and, and that's what they would offer if they had a new hire coming right The now. nine steps, is it over 10, or is it um, how many years is the nine? Is I it think it's years? nine years. Because I, and I'm, I'm speculating, but I know with state police, when you hit 10 years, you become a um, trooper first class, which is a different pay grade. 
So I, I believe so it's ours, nine years. Ours would be six and ten years, so we space several. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Can I ask a question on that step Please. discussion? How do you compensate the ones that are past step six? They're already here ten plus years. Well, they're going to get a pay increase regardless. When, they, when we look at the scales, they're going to. If we change the scales, they'll be at a higher rate okay. on a new scale. Okay, so that's all. The, they will stay at the top step. Maybe max up, because but we're working on modifying the the that's number right. of steps yeah. with the. That's why I was asking him. Once we look at this, we're going to go back to look at what he's proposing for the first pay, mm -hmm. and depending on how much that goes up, then the others are going to follow yeah. by percentage. So. <laughs> I want to be careful that the town can afford it when we look at, we envelope all these people through. And maybe once we pick a, um, let's say a flavor or a way we want to go tonight, mm -hmm. then he could insert the proper numbers yep. to what we kind of semi agree to tonight yep. and then come back to us and say, this is what it's going to cost. Yeah. Yep. You know, and then yep. um, look at that one more time and then mm -hmm. make a harder decision. Sure. I think if. Um the problem that I feel that our current step wage scale has right now is there's too much time between the three steps. Yeah. There's no incentive to for someone to get in. It's a challenging job, and then they realize how much they have to do, and I've got to wait three years before I'm recognized for that next step increase. Right. And that's the issue. And then, and then five, it goes to five, two, five, then five two years more later, from then you don't get any incentive. And, and then you're then. gone. And, or, you know, but his is six over ten. You get more of them, but it's still a, a period of time. Yeah, you're waiting two years in between steps. But two years has been on a three year. It Absolutely. Is yeah. 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 We were trying to come up with a with a, a step increase modification that would be fiscally sound for the town and not seeing huge jumps, but also get people money in their pocket a little bit faster mm -hmm. because that's going to keep people on the hook. And depending on and, on how this works, a year department, maybe it's something we look at for the whole. Of, Entire town, as far as that. Oh yeah, I, I think this is a step one. We we can implement this, but I think Lean's going to be presenting hers, and I expect something yeah. very similar to this. Yeah. So what I have for you is a number of different departments, and I've incorporated his charts into that same spreadsheet, so you can really see where Dunbarton is at the bottom of the list. And, and you have the same amount of towns. I have all his towns plus all the ones that came from NHMA that yeah. were. Um, and I utilize the same group, which is in the lower end of the population, mm -hmm. to be similar. But then I also incorporated his, which were the abutting towns, yeah. to help. So there's a lot of towns. And, and, and to preface it, I mean, there's town, smaller towns than ours that pay more, yeah. and there's smaller towns that pay less. Mm -hmm. and there's bigger towns than us that pay a little bit less, and there's obviously bigger towns that pay a lot more. We're just trying to be more competitive. That, yeah. That's all. I just don't want to be the bottom. It, neither do I. And, you know, we are running into recruitment issues with certified officers because they are taking pay cuts if they're going to come here and they can't afford to do it. We're very fortunate with our candidate now. He's at a different phase in his life where he can afford that. But what we're paying is, is quite frankly, not enough. So I'm just trying to get us to be more competitive. I'm not saying we have to be creme de la creme, the, the top of everything, but we need to be more competitive. Just the same concept with our detail rates, right? We don't want to price ourselves out, but we want to be competitive. That's that's all. So um, so that's you know with, with the full time patrol officer you'll you'll see kind of the breakdown with with the different towns. Um, the sergeant base wages, this this one was really an eye opener. Um, really Brian's at step one right now which is that fifty nine seven. Um, Step three right now is 64, and you'll see that most communities are starting their sergeants at what our top sergeant step is. And there's smaller communities with less officers that a sergeant has to supervise that are making a lot more money. Antrim's close on our starting, but starting way higher. That's right. And you know, Bradford's another one. They're, they're 61.9 to 74, so 10,000 more than us, but half our size of population. Yeah, and even Marlboro goes from 56, but they jump way to 79. Yeah, and you know, Warner was another one. I, They have a pay scale, but uh, their administrative secretary sent me what people are making that position now. So that, that's another example. Sutton's another one. You know, 77 is what their sergeant's making right now. So it's um, it, it's very, very interesting to see. And you know, whole business is another one. A thousand people less than us. Their sergeant starts a thousand dollars more than our, ours pops out at. So it's not just one, one or two like anomalies. It's like across the board for full-time patrol and sergeant. 
um, that our guys are, in my opinion, chronically underpaid. Um, through no fault of, of the board, it's just, uh, just moved on. over time, it, it's just, it's become that way. Yeah. Um, moving to the next page, um, part-time patrol officer hourly rate, it, it speaks for itself. Um, I saw a post for Danbury, 1,250 people, 22 to 25 an hour for part-timers. <laughs> Ours are making 2177 at max step. So the 2177 is step three. So all of our part-time officers right now are maxed out, and they're making 2177 an hour. And there's communities three times as small where they're making you know up to 25 an hour. So again, across the board, I found that our, our guys um, you know are on the lower end. So the laws have a, a wage scale on the part-timers. They do, and it depends on your certification. So if you're a full-time certified officer working part-time there, you can make that thirty dollars and change. Mm -hmm. Um, but they have a sliding scale. Where what was really, really low on their part-time hourly rate, that was kind of a, an outlier, mm -hmm. but you'll see the smaller towns, um, you know, Hampton Falls, 2,400 people, 2,745. And, and granted, cost of living out on the seacoast, a little bit different, commercial properties fluctuate, the, the tax rate, things of that nature, but just looking strictly at population. I think your first sentence states what where it begins. <coughs> What's that? I think your first sentence states what actually ends up happening over there. So I think, you know, that's that's the part-time uh, hourly for, for patrol officers. Office administrator, pretty much the same thing. Um, pulled from uh, four other communities. Um, ours right now is topped out at $20.54 an hour. Um, you know, using Thornton as an example, 2,700 people there. Theirs is getting paid twenty four eighty one right now an hour. Um, New fields, 1,700, 25.37 an hour. So these are just a few examples that I pulled from. Um, moving on to the, uh, the next page. Um, I provided this for informational purposes only. I'm, I'm not here to get myself more money. I'd really like to get more money for, for the people that work with me. Um, but this was just kind of provided. I was told we were doing it a town-wide, so I included all of our applicable positions. Mm -hmm. And what you should. So that, that's what I found. Some of those numbers were, were staggering to see. I was very surprised. Um, some Maybe of those we shouldn't have had your help. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, you know, and we can have that conversation another day if the board would like to. My purpose of being here is to get more money for our, our patrol officers, our office administrator, and the sergeant. Um, and then as, as I said, we're doing a, a town-wide review, so I think it's included. Good, Leo. You had a comment. Uh, common question. So, in these steps, we we tend to lose officers after a while. We have to, it costs us it costs a ton of money. In my it does. Yeah. So, yeah. factor that into the loss every time, and you you know you're almost like working towards men will give them that extra yeah. money mm -hmm. versus losing them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's costing you money anyways. Yeah. I I couldn't agree more. I, I think from a taxpayer standpoint, it makes a lot more sense. To, to keep people, pay them a little bit more than to yeah. lose people, have to equip yeah. them, train them. It costs a lot more money already, to hire a new officer. You, you already invested in that that's person. Right. Yeah. So you may as well keep them going, that's right. you know? That's right, yeah. I think that speaks for all the positions. It does. Yeah. If you're going to ask the town and, and, and limit the growth of the staffing and you want to retain those people that become experienced that are managing your town and managing it well as a team, you have to recognize all those <clears throat> okay. Jason. So looking at the, we're on to the proposal section now. Uh, we've already touched on the steps that Lena and I came up with, the six step uh, progression. Um, so circling back to the proposed full time patrol officer wage adjustment. Um, um, let's go to your steps first. Sure, sure. Um, just following your proposal. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The step one trainee is not the same as step one for completion capacity. That's correct. So the trainee step one would be someone fresh off the street who has to go through has to go through training and go through the academy. It's almost like probation because they may not make so, it to the academy. Right. So how are you going to fill in those dollar amounts? So um, on the so on the next page, yeah. um, you'll see that the, the current wage for that is forty four nine, um, and that I, I propose an increase of uh, nine point two five percent or four thousand four hundred ninety six dollars. Bring that up to forty nine four five four. And you'll, you'll see throughout my proposal, you have an initial big jump, but then it levels off. And I used, uh, I believe I used 2.5% uh, 
um, between uh, the steps. That was my, my multiplier. So it's a nice steady increase up, but it's not a giant hit uh, all at once. So on the new wage, it starts at 49.4. 49.4. It goes about 2.5% going yep. down that column. When, yep. they're, when they're in the field, it will go from... It's, I, I, so from, from trainee step two to police officer step one, when they go out on the road, it's it's a big jump. It's it's more than the two and a half. Exactly. But once you're at step one, two, three, four, five, six, it's two and a half percent. And okay. I did that for every every position. Okay, great. It was a two and a half percent multiplier. Got so it. you'll see that the, the change on the right-hand side, that's from what it is now to what it would be. But okay. in between, you'll see like 59, 61, 62, 64, 65. It's a, it's, a, it's a nominal increase. Could you do me a favor when we uh, redo this chart? Could you do that percentage? Yep. Yep. Just so the public can see it as well if we do. Um, because that's more important to me once we set this up, that the public sees it. Now, um, looking at this bracket now, we have the range between uh, the new range, 49 to 65 for full time. Mm -hmm. So let's go back here. Um, we were 44 to 57. Correct. Yep. And so your top end, you're going up to 65, which is uh, 8,000 more. Uh, not really, because it's about 7,000 more. Yep. Okay. See. See. Yeah, yeah. So the my thought process behind the 65. Yeah, I mean you'll see. You know, the, the Marlboro, Newberry, um, Warner, Sutton, Bradford. Um, it brings us kind of in line with that. Not as much as, as, you know, the 70 range that some of those towns are paying, but more in kind of the, the mid-range. Still on the lower, 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 lower end. To an extent, yeah. yeah. So I don't think it's a, I think your proposal is definitely not excessive. Thank you. You see that? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Talk about sergeant now. So I, I propose there is a, a jump, the highest jump, uh, because I, I think that position is is underpaid for what he has. And he's second in command um, of the agency, has a lot of responsibility, and is responsible for everyone beneath him. So that would jump up. The, the step one would be 66.8, and it would go up to 75.5, um, which, again, I, I think is a modest... Again, is Good it, compromise. Is that your two percent again? Two and a half percent. Right. Your okay. sergeant is at level three. He's at step one step right one. now. He's step making one. fifty nine seven. Okay. So that would be an approximate change of seven thousand dollars. Okay. To so ten thousand dollars higher for a over patrol officer. It's actually eleven five eighty four. If you're looking at the step ten to step three of the current wage. I was looking between the uh, full-time patrol mm -hmm. officer versus the sergeant. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Max and max. So you compare okay. it to the uh, gotcha. right. You compare right. it to the other communities that we're we're not in the high, we're not in the low, we're in That's the middle right. again. Yeah, it's good. More competitive. Yep. Um, so, and with the full-time patrol officer wage adjustment, we have three positions. Obviously, we only have one sergeant position. Um, and that's going to continue most likely, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, for part-time patrol officer, um, like I said, all of our, our part-timers are maxed out right now at twenty-one seventy-seven an hour. So they would automatically all jump up to twenty-five fourteen an hour, which is right in line with what most other communities are paying. Um, still not the highest, but not the lowest. And I think oh, they wouldn't be at the twenty-three oh one. They'd be at the six step. They'd be yeah. twenty. They'd, yeah, that's they're correct. They'd be because they're right. all over they're ten years. Consistent yeah. with the longevity. They get a long right. time. They, they all have ten Not plus years. Nothing to look forward to, but you get all the money up front. Exactly. Exactly. And then whatever the annual cola is, we'll still give them a chance to to go up a little bit. But I mean, for them going from twenty one seventy seven to twenty five fourteen, that's a that's a, a good jump and a well deserved jump for them. That brings that those positions more in line with what other communities are paying their part time officers. Agreed. I mean, I think that's. And then um, part time office administrator, um, she's topped out right now at $20.54 um, using the 2.5% multiplier. Um, that would bring, um, I believe she'd be at 
uh, step four, which is 22, 28 an hour. I'd like to put a hold on that one because I like to compare that with uh, you know, the administrative uh, personnel to support lien, for sure. example. Yep. I think we should have some consistency in our administrative side. We have a okay, lot so, of Okay, so the thing is, we'll put, uh, we, I see that you, you got a good proposal here, but I wanted to make sure it matches what Absolutely. we're Absolutely, yep, yep. So just so I'm thinking the same, Chris, you're saying that because with her experience she was hired at step three, yep. current wage, yep. the increase would bring her to step eight? Uh, it would bring her to step four, so step four. Com commensurate okay. with six years okay. of uh, experience, so 22, 28 an hour. Um, and that's going to make sense with what you're proposing, Lean, as far as administrative personnel. Mm -hmm. I think so. Agreed, Dave. I haven't gotten this far yet, right, but by working with this formula, I think I can work that into. Just but I need to yeah, have. Yeah, I'm just thinking that too. Because we're having different jobs with a whole true. different set of controls. True, but the thing is, uh, it's not any. It's paperwork. It's administrative. It's answering phones. It's a similar skill set as. You'll be able to see that in this report, Dave. Yeah. That there's a lot of similarities in the ranges, but um, on, in other towns, administrators in their position. Are a lot higher too. And this And okay. uh, you know, I, I should have prefaced my presentation with this. I, uh, I I've essentially finished my 2023 budget proposal. Um, Less salaries. That's notwithstanding whatever the personnel stuff is, but between all of my contractual and my discretionary budget lines, um, the net increase, including the decrease in our body cam line, is approximately 2,300 bucks, and then that's it for increases. I'm just trying to keep it level funded because I really want to focus on these personnel, taking care of our, our personnel uh, wage increases. So I, I didn't want to try and... I think because this is a proposal at this point to our board that we should let him keep this included in here. I'd also like to see one more graph um, stated even though we just did your contract for the chief's position just so we have it documented. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'd like to see those percentages on your steps labeled right next to the side of them. Okay. Um, and what, what were you saying about the chief's position? I'm in sorry. other words, you're under a, a five. You're five, under a contract. Right. But I I want to see a proposal here, like the rest. Oh, of the okay. Okay. So do the graph out and lay it out and do the. Okay. We want to know where you are today. Yeah. Uh, what the increase will look like. Just like you did on the others. Yeah, include, okay. Include those uh, your yearly increment increases too. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to make sure it's commensurate with. Our peers are doing in other communities. Right. Okay. Thank okay. you. I'll Unless that's something that's more private, but I don't think it's contrary. No, it's public. It's public. In our it's meetings, public. So. Yeah. No, I think it's 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 all right. But I think is uh, if we're gonna, we're not gonna. I think it'd be prejudicial if we didn't include the chief's position. Well, I thought it's, and, I, and I don't want to take this one out of the mix yet either, because I know Lean's coming to us later. But this is his department proposal to us, and I want to see those percentages like that on the side over here, Mike, so we can we can look back and say the taxpayers well. We are six steps, but they're two and a half percent or two percent per year, right? Mm -hmm. or, or however they differ every two, every two years. Yeah, yeah. I can I can add that column in, no problem at all. I can I can do that for some okay. while. My only worry to this is that you know our um, our coal is up this year and everything's up, but I feel like we might be in a market that's going to be dipping down right. shortly. Yeah, uh, I'm. A so I'm a little with the, bit worried about that. I, I agree we should have a cola, but the thing is I'm not as aggressive in the cola since we are looking at wages. Uh, I'm looking at wage increases across the board, resetting them. I like the six steps because that's going to create some uh, longevity opportunities for our work staff. Yeah. A coal or a hot, big coal is not going to keep us anyone here. I think they have developing a long-term plan is better than just a year coal. So if I have to be a little more conservative on coal and be a little liberal, liberal, liberal with the with the with the long-term plan, I'd be more liberal with this plan. I have to think that we've got to come up with some sort of balance because you know the voters are. Put us in here to watch over the town and uh, watch true. over this. And true, but we want to be fair to everybody and look at this. But we haven't I, looked at it in a long time. As a taxpayer, when I call 911, I want to have an officer that's going to respond to me. I don't want to have to rely on state police waiting for three hours for a state policeman to come in here. Yeah. And I, you know, just trying to be competitive, trying to be, um, you know, looking at these numbers was was really demoralizing for our guys. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's through Wait no. Wait you see him on here. <laughs> Through, through no fault of, of the board. And um, it's just, I'm in a position now to advocate for them and try and get them more money and, and take care of and, them. And I think, I think we will. I think is yeah. a, we're, we're, this is a great, better than a starting point. This is some real data we need. 
Thank you. And I think just enhance it a little bit more, include your uh, breakdown with your chart on there. Sure. We include the, 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 your salary increases as already on contract. Yeah. And, and then the percentages that they want. That and then want. do the other towns just like you did for the other guys so we can see what the other towns are. Okay. Um, doing there and well, you did that portion of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of use the two and a half percent, I guess, and then the, the yeah. thousand dollar annual raise contingent upon the uh, performance eval going along. And save on paper, you don't need as much verbiage. Uh, we need to see the charts. Okay, can I can we go over these charts? Did, did you by chance print one? I, I did not. I'm sorry, okay, okay print them up, Lee, and we'll go. We got time. Um, what charts are those? This is every all of his numbers in with what was available through the NHMA 2022 wage study, he went a little bit further and it's very detailed. So you can see that the first position, which is his. This is where we have this printout? Yep. Is the third to the lowest pos uh, paid position in all of his titled jobs. So you can, and they're in, I sorted them by high, low, or high, column to the right. So you can see that the Population is similar. Oh, so you did one as well with him. Of everything. So I hadn't seen, no. I haven't seen these yet. Obviously. But this does not include any percent increase calculations. This is just what's existing it's today. It's raw data. Yeah. From today. So I'm going to give you this. I'll just print another one real quick. Okay, thank you. That way you can follow. But if you wanted to go, the first four pages of the police okay. department. So, so Lena and I, so I did my standalone proposal, and Lena and I also worked together. She pulled some numbers from NHMA. Uh, and she looked at not only police positions, but uh, other town positions as well. So the first page is the police chief position. So with these towns listed, the, the very top are the lowest paid, and then it goes down to the highest paid at the very bottom. Um, and you can see the, the population, um, the salary type, and then the low and high range. And you'll see some of them, you know, some have a, a range. Oh, so you're right in the middle. No, not in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you just go like this. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Dave, you want a pair of glasses? <laughs> um, my my arm is kind of right <laughs> He's going like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got right in the, the rest middle. of the page. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's uh, okay. that position, the second page, uh, 2 of 12, that's the police admin position. Um, and again, she found towns and then also incorporated the towns that I had researched as well. So this is kind of the, the master wage document, if you will. But there's no proposed increases on here. This is just raw data of what current gotcha. wages are. Police sergeant is the next one. Police sergeant, again, I mean, he's right where I'm at. As you can see. Um, Cut the page in half. He's in the middle. Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> next. Patrol officer, they're at the, they're the lowest bid. That's where we need to stay. <laughs> Out of all the communities. Okay. Um, patrol officer full time. Um, they're at number nine, but I will preface that with Marlboro and Hampton Falls. Um, those 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 are actually higher paid. The Marlboro numbers reported to NHMA. Um, I had gotten the numbers directly from the chief, and the numbers are actually uh, much higher. So Marlboro is forty four five up to seventy three three. As you saw in my proposal, so they're they're actually higher. They should be further down on the list. Gotcha. And the same with Hampton Falls. They're 61 to 63 right now, based on a wage study I looked at. So they're higher as well. So there's a couple communities a, a little bit lower than us, but um, by and large, the majority are, are higher paid than our full time. So they're up in the top, or in the low section of it. Um, yep. And then I'll wait for Lee because six starts uh, other town departments now. I don't want to speak to those without her here. Okay. Um, I, as a general philosophy, I thought when it came to, she put some elected officials in here, I thought we followed the philosophy which we agreed to at the beginning of the year, Dave, that we would wait till January if, a, if the office was coming up for election. That would be the year uh, we changed the salaries, with, with the exception of the selectmen be once every three years. And there's other ones, one other board. Now there's a board of three. We have all elected officials that would change every three years rather than every year. But the rest of them were the only one type of elected position. How did you come up with the three years? Because uh, three three members of the board. In other words, oh, every three years. Three years. years. Term. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, for the single positions, it would be at the end of the, at the beginning before the election was announced. How many years is it? One every year? No. It's every three. Years I think well. so. Well, I'll verify that. Sounds right. 
So the thing is, uh, in January, we make a look at all the uh, on a separate actions. We I like that we have the form, and what we should do is uh, put the years there up for exactly on the side right here. We'll have Lane add that exactly. To the Just write even handwrite if you ask me. I, mean, I can I can tell you while we're waiting for Lane too that uh, increasing the wages um, right now we're we're still in the recruitment phase for our anticipated vacancy. Increasing the wages will be a huge game changer recruitment wise um, for us as well, not just retention but recruitment as well. And you know I agree with this philosophy you brought in the last time that I don't like some of the departments are giving these one time bonuses like up to ten grand, ten thousand dollars. What, it does, what does that for say to hires, yeah. what, yeah, what is it for new hires? What does that say to your existing force, which we're trying to keep? Right. It, it says, hey, you've been here, have a nice day. But this guy, he's just coming in off the street and we're going to give him like a 10,000 sign on bonus. There's, uh, I think Hanover's doing 25, Wyndham's doing 21, There's a, uh, State Police is doing 10. Um, it's, it's unbelievable the amount. It, it's, the hiring pool is just so different than 10, 15 years ago. No one wants to do this job anymore. Mm -hmm. And, um, our office administrator is part of an administrative professionals group, email blast. Everyone's having the same problem with recruitment. Everyone's competing for the same small pool of candidates, um, trying to get creative with hiring. And okay. Lee, one of the things we want to do is um, we went through the police department. Yep. But the thing is, uh, as we go through the other other departments, um, the elected officials, if you put, can you jot down when they're next, when they're due for the election, when the next election is due? Okay. Because yeah. we decided back a few meetings back to do those as the year they're up for. Right. So monitor who's coming up for election and then get you the current wages. Right. Because yeah. they have, they also have this information. No, it's good to see this information right now, but right yeah. here on the side. Yeah. Just, just give me another the column. Oh, for the elected officials? Right. Yeah, what is, that. okay, like say the road agent, he's got two more years and he's going to be up for re-election in 2025. Okay, that's the only group that I did not include in here yet. No, you got the road agents in here. There, there is, but he's, it's because that department, highway, had so many descriptions that it was a little bit difficult and I thought by having a little more information than just the highway worker that it would give you a feel for it. A feel of where we're at and then yes, going forward I Yeah, some of my some of our directors of highway departments and not really road agents, you know what I'm saying? Right. So there's form and other and it within that area there's, you know, superintendent, road agent, rec director, highway manager. So they're not exactly the same. So then when you go to the next page, which is highway equipment, you have a, a small range of individuals that call uh, that give their employee a title, highway equipment, and that's the range for that particular position. But then you have a highway worker for Dunbar on the next page, which is one, two, three, four, fifth from the, the lowest pay. And you can see that's for the part-time position, and then the uh, line 13 is our current full-time employee. So you can see where they fall in the range of highway workers. So I'm not sure. You're going to see that Pete actually fits in the equipment operator. All right, there's the highway work. That's where I put him in, so he probably would fit in equipment operator. Because he can run the greater, the most difficult thing anybody on the highway runs, and he runs it. So that's why I kind of, with that yeah. particular department, okay. I had to pull yep. three different uh, categories. Yeah. And then, um, then you have, uh, planning and zoning administrator. Okay. And you can see she's on, falls in line 12 out of the category of 19 different towns. Okay. Um, the, law, the number 19, though, I'm not sure if that's... It depends. Or if some people that hired fairly currently, they're up a little higher than... Because of their experience. Well, not just the experience, but it was a recent hire, so we might have adjusted the price. Yep. Yeah. You know, before we hired that. Which person. is where she's at. She's at step two rather than step one, because she would have had to wait three full years. Where I knew that she was higher in her qualifications. Okay. Bookkeeper. And then bookkeeper. We recently established that title, changing from accounting payroll. I don't see anywhere anywhere. Is that hope? Yes. Mm -hmm. And currently she's at step one, and she's five in the rank of 15 towns for where she, our rates fall. Okay. And then you go to administrative assistant, um, and then our current administrative rate falls at number six, which I believe is similar to the administrative um, rate, 
wage that he's established for the police department. I'll have exactly. To no, it, it's, it looks good. Yeah, I think it's the same. Um, it's twenty. I think it was twenty-three, twenty-three and change that I came up with for the new oh, rate. For the top. Yeah. No, because yeah. you added a year. That's why. But they're only talking. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's at right. she's at twenty dollars and fifty four cents right now. Right, which is right in the middle of the two. She's on step two, which is yeah. the show there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it would fall into the same category of administrative assistant. Okay. Yeah. So your your numbers will probably be very similar here. Yeah, they are. And, I, and then the last page, the last test, you can see that I'm number two lowest in your in my position. We have to work on one. We have to work harder. In the Came first to last. <laughs> you told you guys not to bumper. <laughs> and I made a point of really concentrating on towns on the lower end of population, only because I want to point out that any one of these towns still has the same responsibilities, same deadlines, same communication to state level, state boards, wherever it is, and that. Um, and just for the record. Dunbar was first in our budget proposal this year. I, I always strive to get the tax rates done first, first. And, and I usually come in with the top five. This year I didn't make it at the first. You so did make it at first. You got to stop guessing at it though. I'm not. I, I, I came in. We came in good this okay. year though. Okay, who are we missing off this? What, what um, positions? Elected officials. Elected officials. We elected want that, them. but the thing is, the contrary to the ones that are coming up for election for us, would you agree? Yeah, or, or well, do them all. There's not a law of long list, and it would be yeah, easy. Yeah, do them all, and then, and then uh, put, like we said, that paragraph next to them when they're up. Okay, and then the only one piece that's not included in here is the deputy town clerk. Would she fall under the same category It'd as be, the secretary? No, it would be... Um, because that's one in itself. I would say make it similar to uh, the administrative assistant. Go to deputy town clerk. Well, the other towns with deputy I can look. I can look. Yeah. How about fire? Because Do they? Those are volunteers, and I haven't done that. I don't know what you want to. We don't want to do fire yet, only because what he's done is he started them with a minimal pay. They used to get nothing at all. Okay. Unless they went to a forest fire, then the state paid a minimum. Gotcha. So now we're paying them to go to the town functions at a minimum. Mm -hmm. Well, he had a little more in his budget than he thought, so he increased that pay one time. Okay. We're expecting him to slowly bring that up each year within his budget. Gotcha. And yeah. so yeah. he still has a fair amount left. They're so way, way like under anything that we're ever going to find. Yeah. And something yeah. that's never going to be fixed overnight. Right. Right. That's a that's a, that's a true cost savings to Dunbar. The volunteers that go on the fire department. Yeah. yeah. We changed it. We changed it from stipend to a call to number minimum hours to a call mm -hmm. and to a uh, hourly. Response. Good. Yeah. So Good. that they. So won't he's get slowly adding a little bit to his budget every year to a point where you know. But getting back to the debt, they're, they're getting some pay. Yeah, know. that's great. That's great. Deputy town clerk versus administrative assistant. So <coughs> if, it, if there's a separate. If, if I'm, I'll look okay. because that is an appointed position, so it's not categorized under elected. No, but I, I would just that, I'll, it'd I'll be search. either or category. There was a lot of information yeah. there, but. Well, good. I'm glad to see that your proposal is in, in lean for administrative assistance is spot on. Okay, so do you want me to try to implement what we currently have now and do this six, method of a six, a six, a six step model? Six step model. Um, uh, over a two and a half percent increase. Yeah. After we reset the salaries. That's after the reset. After the reset. No, in other words, what, what you did on yours. Well, don't confuse Chris's with hers. No, 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 but this is the model. What, you started with the new wage, then added the two and a half percent based on the new. Right, but we haven't established that yet. We haven't established that. No, yet. I know, but you can make a proposal. Okay. And uh, again, we, we're going to come in with our pencils and uh, the shades on and figure out what we got to do. Okay. But the thing is, that we need a starting point, such as what Chris gave us a starting point. Mm -hmm. And I need the same from, from him. In other words, put, put your best foot forward, give mm -hmm. us a proposal, yep. and we either increase it, decrease it, or make no change. And remember, you don't have to get it all done. You know, we have some time to get this. But but I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait, Dave. I, I really don't want to wait on this because budget season's coming up. <coughs> the thing is, if we're going to incorporate these salaries increases, they got to be. I like to make them all effective January first. Put them in the but put them in the proposed budget for next year. That's yeah. my goal. Agreed. Yeah. So there would be a salary range adjustment effective January first, and then there would be a cost of living raise on the operating budget warrant 
Yes. Yeah. A combination, so it won't be the what we're seeing today is nine percent increase, correct? Because we're making an adjustment to the wage, so scale. essentially, a one, yeah, one time adjustment mm -hmm. and then implementing the six six steps. And I, I, I'm, I got a gut feeling that the thing is uh, in the past when there was little minimal inflation, mm -hmm. uh, we used anywhere from two to three percent in the past, as you recall. I'm I, looking at it, I'm looking at it this year, uh, <laughs> since we're making an adjustment, I don't want to kill the taxpayer. We're making adjustments to the salaries, so I'm looking at uh, after we make those adjustments, I'm looking at maybe anywhere from four to six percent in that range. So I do keep track of the CPIs that we approve at town meeting, and um, they ranged from no increase or a medical benefit change, no be medical benefit change or one percent. There were a couple of years that were 0.7 and 0.8. And there's never been anything more than three percent in the last since two thousand eight. Agreed. There Agreed. really has yeah. not been a. a, a and and uh, that's probably why we again felt. again thinking thinking it through like that there is going to be a dip in this economy because it's coming. True. You can't have. Um, that's why I'm not going. You can't go up four times in one year, three quarters of a point, and then no. two times at a no. quarter point. In fact, the, on these mortgage rates have gone up on a three hundred thousand dollar home seven or eight hundred dollars. <throat> Even if their tax base hasn't gone up, the people with the food and the inflation out there are getting affected. So we have to be careful because we're doing a combination of things here that we're, we're bringing the scales up and then we're adding more right, but that, steps to the wage scale. That, that's why I'm not going for like, a, I'm not saying that, you know, it, it'd be great to have a cold of 8 or 9%, but I'm not, I'm not advocating that at all. I'm advocating that more. I'm thinking we're sticking with something closer to 3% since we're doing all this just before. Uh, I think that's a little too low. I mean, it's a little too low for that. Well, according to the changes in the police department, that's a 9% increase already in adjustment, yeah, adjusting the wages. Like so then a 3%, whatever, 4%, I don't know what the board will decide, but um, adjusting the, the base is going to... You might, you might be surprised with the numbers. Let the numbers do the talking. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just thinking about like it. We can either speculation. Yeah. Going on. We just okay. we can either bring the numbers down here down or to increase the cola or vice right. versa. But we'll, and cola is not going to be fixed tonight. We'll just keep it as a floating number until we see all right. the numbers come in. Yeah. But I think it's important that we do. We have to, we have to maintain ourselves as competitive. I think it has to be done sooner than later. I think January first, I like to have the implementation date for these, pending budget approval by the voters. In other words, we won't. The thing is, people uh, would be. How did that work with the uh, last year when we when uh, when cola? It was retroactive from town meeting to January first. Correct. We, we kept under the, we kept under the same <coughs> salary system. Then, as soon as the budget was approved by the voters, it goes back retroactive, and everyone got an appropriate pay. Uh, uh, cola. Check. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep the wage schedule separate from the warrant because. Yeah, that's right. If you're doing a retro for January 1st for this wage scale change. Not and for the wage scale change, we're doing it more for the right. COLA. But, but if you wait and, and, so this will get taken care of first, and then the COLA will be presented at the town meeting. Yeah, that's I don't know. Yes. <coughs> I'm not sure January um, 1st has to be a drop dead date either. No, but the thing is, um, it could be closer to our town meeting. No, but at the same time, I uh, think is the departments have to have some firm numbers, right? That so we're going to we're going to know that in our budget process, right? That's why I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for December. I think this month we have to have by next meeting we should be getting a little bit closer to how we want to implement these. Uh, we're going to get a little tightening up on the data from the police department. Lean's got the model model to follow now. I'd say we clean I know, it up. What, what I'm saying, Mike, is I agree with all your time frames. So okay, just slow down. Okay, I agree with all that. But I don't think it has to be uh, retroactive to January. It can be effective uh, when the budget. Agreed. It could be. You know, we don't have to. You know, it could be a partial budget budget this year. It doesn't have to be effective January first. Doesn't have to go back. Retroactive. You know, I know COLA. We do that with typically. I think that's enough to leave. I think the rest. <coughs> it could be effective March fifteenth, the, the day we have the town meeting. So that's what you say. Just so there's money in the budget for what we're describing to spend for the <coughs> voters, because otherwise you would have, you know, Chris's. He might have some additional money in his budget, so he might be able to take care of his portion of it till March. 
But the rest of the town, we might not have the funds in there to take oh, care. Oh, I agree. But agree. the thing is, when you're going before the voters, you have to anticipate and budget in those. And we're going to budget for it, Lane. Okay. That's what I'm okay. saying. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't have to be a January 31st start date. The, in other words, the, the salary, the or wage scales, the wage scales can be effective like March 15th. Yes. Or March 1st, whatever. Okay. So the wage scale changes, not the COLA. And that'll actually bring down the cost. The cost. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Not about a little, little, little bit. Take the snap. A little more palatable. Right. right. Yeah. The same okay. as we do on a new hire. Okay, yeah. we're looking at nine months. We'll do July 1st yeah. as a start date, so right. it's six months of savings. Because your initial... You've, you've captured some of those savings along the way. <laughs> yeah. When someone yeah. leaves, for example, you yeah. get like three extra months. Yeah. yeah. Because that initial 9 and 10% added to the COLA... Right. Could be, be a huge bump. And... So to lessen that bump, we'll do it for a partial year because it started. Okay. I can live with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically but we still want a budget for that. All our paperwork has to be done and in line so everybody knows their budget and we know where we're looking. So right. Remember the, the thing that I asked Chris to do is when you do your um, step ups, mm -hmm. you know, show us the two or two and a half percent or whatever it is that you yep. decide to yep. offer us at one time. Yeah. And try and make it as close to something that we'll accept that first time because... It'll just be more work on yourself if you yeah well, no, I'll be here. For, we tell you, you know, to come. I'll be working, uh, this, this, for a workshop. This, this document, this document was good because you don't want to pick something at the very top. You want to go for something in the in the middle, in the center of mass as far as wage scales. Similar to what what was followed. Now, there was, we had increases across all all positions. But without looking at this, knowing where we fall in the rank of our paid employees. We're, We're at the bottom. Exactly. So the point is go with the system similar to what Chris did, increase the current rate by a certain percentage. And what Mike is saying is and then bring it to the middle of the range. Right. If you go to the top of the range, we're going to say no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Even if I did the 9%, you're looking at increasing everybody's wages by 9% and then doing the, the 6 here, six or eight. I know, but six don't tier. don't sell yourself on the percentage is what I'm no. saying, Lee. Okay. Yeah. The middle of the tier might be six percent on one job. It might it be twelve percent on another. Or twelve percent. It another. might okay. be twelve on a different. Don't go by percentage. Okay. My okay. positions were adjusted between five and ten and a half percent, <clears> depending <throat> on the position. Okay. Right. And then from there, it's just two and a half percent down the line. Okay. As you said, okay. I'll so, with Chris. so yeah. just go by the position. Don't go by. Go okay, by we're bringing everybody up nine. No. Okay. Adjust it by the dollar amount so that you're in the middle of the range for that position. Okay, you're bringing that position into the middle. Right. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry it. about, oh, I'm trying to get 6% yeah. out of this pay. Gotcha. I mean, in the, the 2.5%, if you add, you know, over this, that's what, that's 12.5% wage growth from data hire to 10 years, mm -hmm. not with staring at CPS. So I, I use 25 that doesn't have to be I, a drop that number. No, but it's a palatable number. Yeah, it's it's a nice steady. It it's keeps the taxpayers. It's steady and it, it's uh, it's something that's acceptable within that yeah. range. Yeah, it's not, otherwise it's not excessive. Yeah, we'll get clobbered, especially when your your team grows, when your right. department right. grows. You've got to have and, and and we're doing this when we could have a flip year two of the economy slowing down. So we have to really watch that. Mm -hmm. You know, when well, you're looking at a growth period of three or four years, you can understand that. But we're on the we're going to hit a. So they say, her. if you believe if you believe TV, <laughs> um, I, I think I think it's. I th I've been around talk. this. I've been around these recessions many years. Let's go. Oh, I've been I've been longer than you. Uh, but the thing is, I, next year they're already predicting the, the Fed. I mean, the uh, they're going to raise it another one percent. They want to. They want to. At least the pundits are saying they want to force a recession upon us. To stop the inflation, that means people have to be laid off. Work, you know, get more applicants in, and people are going to start losing their jobs. I mean, it's going to be big time. That's what has to happen in this country in order to stop the inflation. You know, we're going to force. You're already seeing recession. some of these big companies lay off a thousands of people. Amazon has mm -hmm. done. Is, uh, started already. Laid. Okay, enough said on that. We got. We got a. We got a game plan. You know what, how you got to clean your data yep. up. Yep. You know. I'll get that done tomorrow morning. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it, and you almost say morning's not. Next week there's no meeting. I'm so. hot truck. You're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> We're not meeting next Thursday. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and Lee, so you're happy. Thank you for reading. You yeah, almost exactly. Yeah. Almost there. I know I am. I, I'm very close, but I needed to come up with facts first before I could propose anything. He had. Um, no, but this is your. This is your. Your. your basically, yeah. your bible for facts. Yep. Yep. And then you can use that um, as a starting point. That being said, I know it's a little bit 
premature for a budget strategy, but excluding the payroll lines, do I've got the budget reports I'm ready? Budget other I'm ready to disperse all the budget reports to the departments. They work very well. Everybody in yeah. seems to use them, and we've gone through our budget. You're going to do the same thing you've done no, the prior year. No, but it, the thing is, I, I I expect to have increases in fuel. Anything that uses fuel, yeah. I expect to have increases compared okay. to la January of last year. I expect significant. I budget more for fuel costs. Well, I don't, I'll leave well, it let, in there. Let them do their job. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. but don't say a level budget. A level budget. No, no, level services. Level services. How we yeah. use yeah. it. Meaning, don't come to us for another employee or this or that or whatever. Right. Um, or, I like the level budget. <laughs> <laughs> Issue a few sweaters for people working in the office. <laughs> yeah, turn the heat down. Yeah. I thought it would be cold here. This is warmer than my house. I was going to stay here. Nice in there. I might take a nap. <laughs> so you're, no, this is going to change. <laughs> All right, so you're okay with me just sending out the budget reports? I'll yeah. ask them to work on the line items, excluding the... Right. Yeah, but pay careful attention to fuel and heating costs, for example. Because yeah. uh, Well, we've got additional costs for new lines, for cell phones, and there's always the... Um, right. A little incremental. Okay, but as Dave said, level services. Uh, uh, we're not expanding services per se. Yeah. You know, the departments can come to us and ask us, and, and we'll see how. There are some departments that are going to have uh, growth, like the fire department we talked about. And there's different we things. anticipate that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So not, they're getting clobbered. Um, so, you know, some of this stuff's going to come to us full, and hopefully we can take it a department at a time per year and not mm -hmm. get every department. So. Yeah. Kind of spread it out through the years. Uh, just to, for an FYI, I think is um, when it comes to we, we looked at the transfer station already. And I've been thinking about you know I don't think we've ever kept an employee more than six years of the transfer station. Woody, no, I, I, I let him aside. But I'm talking about the part timers. Um, Brad Jobel was there for 20 years. Brad was there for 20 years. 18, okay, 20. And, uh, I mean, I'll hold Woody. All right. Really? Okay, but I think it's uh, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not. What was he born down there? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Okay, um, but we'll look at. We'll look at. Uh, we've already addressed that wages wise. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, I don't see there's an urgency to address that right now. Um. As I don't want Lena to spend her time on that at this point. Well, the only thing that, as I would like to do is add the three more steps to that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but. Uh, at the two or two and a half percent, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you decide to come to us, and then if we say lean, bring these all down to one yeah. and a half percent. Well, this, if we'll you do. don't want to take this home, I can send it to you electronically. You can leave it in well, your basket. No, yeah, this is good. Okay, this but I think it's important for you to have this here so you can see where it was that I worked. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, know, it's, it's, it's good work. No, we, all we like that as well. But so I'm saying for the as far as the transfer station, <clears throat> the base pay has already been set because we've mm -hmm. done that part. Mm -hmm. And the first step increase have already been set. So now go through the other uh, steps. Steps. The and then steps. determine which. If we're going to do a six step system. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, agreed. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be encouraging for the um, ones that have been for moved everybody. into step two that next year they will. They want to have to wait three right. years. They'll get in two They'll, years. Yeah. yeah. Is it two years? Every two years? Every two years. Okay. Yeah, zero, two, four, six, eight time. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually yeah. an incentive for them. All right. Um, okay. I think we're done with that portion of the uh, meeting. Thank you for thank the board's time on that. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks for having the report to us early to read. So thank you. And Lean was outstanding. We, we worked really well together getting everything ready. And so thank you, Lean. You're welcome. Okay. Let's keep going on. We get mailbox items. Right here. Okay. We've already got a, a request for, um, uh, for Margaret Watkins. She got a uh, request for the Dunbarton and Bow Scouts to Hubmaster to use the, uh, the upstairs on every Wednesday, every month for pack meetings. We don't even have, a, the building is not, the project's not done yet. The, the elevator, I understand, is going to take a couple months to get the certificate so it can be used. I'm not signing up anyone at this point. Yeah, I think we'll wait till we sign the policy and just throw it off because uh, okay. I don't want to have any one. One uh, committee starting before next, so it's gonna. Yeah, to get the first language. request in, but, I asked for. But send send a, uh, a, a response. response back, please. Okay. I mean, I don't. We I have to compare it to the library hours and all that. To, 
I don't even know the live hours on a Wednesday before we respond to that, you know? Okay, good point. Very okay, good point. Um, so. we got to... Uh, so we're going to shelf that for now. We're absolutely. Just, tell them we'll keep it in the queue and we'll... Yep, yep. Okay. Next item is that uh, we got an item from uh, the fuel tanks. They have to be uh, I, concrete off with some concrete uh, uh, spill containments area. Don't say anything. Say it. Don't say the amount. No, I'm not going to say the amount. Uh, we got one, we got a, I guess, is it going to go out for bid or what's the story? Well, what I understood from talking with Jeff just quickly when I stopped in to sign the checks was um, there was some uh, concern about how the proposal was. Um, the, the person that did the proposal was also taking care of all the earthwork around the cement pad with the spill containment. Okay. And Jeff said, you know, he didn't ask him to do that. It was just something he put in the bid. So. He thinks that the bid's going to come down substantially, and Jeff's also going to... Um, is he working on it? He's, he's working on it. I also gave him the name from the people that did our steps out to the concrete work. Oh, that's yes. a great idea. Okay. So they were a great company. I'm not sure that they do this. I know they do the slab work all the time, but I'm not sure if they do the... Um, it the signal grooves? Yeah, so this was a, um, a requirement based on the inspection of the tanks, not this recent one. Right. So I'll go back to that report. And see so it'll be something that writing. once he gets proper budgets or proposals, we'll put it in his next year budget. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So we should work on that. <coughs> or make it part of our maintenance right. budget. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay, good. All right. Next item. Uh, High Prairie Electric. This is for, what's this for, Lane? Is that it you? particular quote, I had reached out to three um, electricians, only received one return call. That gentleman finally showed up at the office after a few days. Um, he um, went through the different buildings. And this quote is based on the um, Department of Labor safety requirements that is mandated. There's two in your exit basement. Signs. Yeah, yeah. exit signs, lit exit signs. There's two or three Couple in, in the, the library. Two or three in the in the yeah. fire department. Two in the yeah. in, in minimum yeah. in the library. Yeah. There's two in the highway, and then I guess this exit sign on here doesn't pass. It's a it's a sign. Just it's not a, lit probably, right? It, no, it's just a sign on the wall. So I have three in my office okay. that I need the, to put. So, so the question is, um, I have enough maintenance money this year. I can encumber that towards the end of the year for this budget. I'd yeah. rather keep keep my powder dry for another couple of weeks until we get I think December. That's a wise idea to see how this all exactly. Out. And there yeah. was some controversy on that exit sign because I had brought that up with Wiggins. Did we yeah. ever clarify that? We did, and um, he gave me an RSA that says basically as soon as you put a space, a room that um, is houses a, a meeting room, it, it changes the whole uh, code. Okay. And he said that <coughs> he was incorrect in his okay. statement. So. So it needs to be done. Needs to be done. Okay, so now, um, you see the amount there? That's not. But I'm, I'm looking at the amount, but then I'm looking at the, um, like the first one on the town offices, you're installing three. Yep. And then you don't divide that number by three to do the next two, so it's kind of a little odd. Well, this one here requires electrical. The oh. others only need remove. The boxes. Um, the other boxes. Security lights, and then replace them with lit exit signs combo. Okay. So that's the difference between those. There are a few in the building that need electrical work. So like and I think we, like Mike said, with the time here, maybe we hear back from one of those other ones. I'll, I'll give him a call again. Right. Keep hounding and, on. and then we can encumber it this year in December. Okay. We All agree. Because right. I'd rather keep a little bit of money. I don't want to go bankrupt. bankrupt. <laughs> 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 For the record, it's not bankrupt. I don't want to run out of money, budget money this year, which we budgeted. We were slim pickings when it comes to uh, some of the maintenance line. And we have a lot of maintenance items this year. And I want to keep my uh, maintenance line in case we have a catastrophe. And I'll give you a catastrophe example. All right. This past week, the fire department had to lost some shingles. And, some, uh, some metal roofing. Metal roofing. And Should I asked, take a look at that? Um, I well, I asked Lean, I think as I'm concerned, I just want it weather tight for the winter because it's going to need some roofing work next year. I don't want a roofing job, but I want it weather tight for the winter. And I, she reached out to one contractor in Dunbarton to uh, get some estimate on it because... Uh, Did you hear anything back yet? Not, he said he, would, he responded he would get somebody out there the following day and then the day after that it poured. Yeah, it poured. But... Um, I haven't heard from John, so I worked from home yesterday all day. To work you know what, I'll numbers. have some time tomorrow. 
Um, he I'll may have out. already taken care of it, but I have it not. But I'll reach out to John also. But uh, my 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 worry, and I, I said this to Lane, is because that building was done in the 40s. The configuration of the roofing is no longer available from what right. I've seen on commercial roofing. So getting a patch to put on, it's not as easy as it sounds because um, it's not going to match the layout of it. So. Flexi I want to see work. what these guys are going to do. We might end up having to do something like that. I'm not sure. I just want, again, weather tight so it doesn't cause damage over the next week. That's what I'm shooting for. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, lean just, uh, uh, but it, I, that's that's why I'm, I'm holding. There may be some overlay sheets that don't match the current configuration just for a temporary patch. Yeah. That, that's that's the example I was trying to portray. It says we need money for urgencies that may come up in the next six weeks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exit signs can be done next year for now. Yeah, and I did in my report to the state ex ask for an extension for okay. the purpose right. of funding. Okay, it's this time of the year for our memberships at NHMA. Mm -hmm. Do we want to continue to use that lane? Oh yes, we have to. Okay. They're great. Uh, we have no say in the say so of the budget, so make it... Uh, it's based on per capita, so that's That's a. Did you see that, Dave? Yeah, you have that uh, in your budget? Every year I do. It's okay. okay. gone up very slightly okay. every year. Okay. Make it so lean. Yeah. Okay. Consensus, gentlemen. Keep you yep. informed. That would yep. be one of my slight increases. Okay. We have a uh, quick claim deed. Explain what that is for us. Okay. In front of you, you have a quick claim deed that should have been recorded back in 2009. <laughs> the deed itself was not ever recorded, and I think the owners are looking to uh, clean up their estate and want to make sure that there's not going to be any issues. Can I read it? Mike? Sure. Um, so there's <coughs> three pages to that quick plan. There's, there's, there's just signatures. It's, not, it's all in the first So page. the plan was um, to take a very small area, probably 50 by 50, that was located in front of the house and move it directly to the end of the road. And so where the the town was already using in front of the house. Theoretically, they had the easement ownership of that, where they turned into that area for many, many, many years. So when this individual went before the planning board, um, he requested a modification on the plan. So if you look at this one here, this is where we used to turn around. This is where we now turn around because they've given us this. This is their land. This is our land because this is the key. The town used to turn in okay. to maintain the road. And now they've given us this piece, but they want us to distinguish or a dis discontinue use on this one. So now it looks like this. Just goes straight and there's no more. What's the plan board recommendation? 2009, they approved it. The deed never, <laughs> the, the deed never got recorded. So okay. they're just cleaning up their records, and it's basically who um, who made this profane deed? Oh, they're awful. Who but made this deed? It's the law firm at the top. Can't sign this. Why not? Do it says Mike Twinsky, Dave Nolan, Justin, the selectman of the town of Dunbar, for consideration paid. So they're granting it to us, even yep. though we're selectmen. It needs to be granted to the town of Dunbar. We just need to sign it as selectmen for the town of representatives. Well, that's the way they wrote it. Yeah, that okay. can't be signed, Lee. Okay, then I can, I can, I have this in Word. I can adjust it. But you shouldn't adjust it. They've already. They should provide that change for us. on it. So where is it here? Which one? It's, well, it's, it's not us. It's the town this. of Dunbar. Okay, the three names here. Yeah. Selectmen of the town of Dunbar. So right here. This quickly indeed is granting it to us three. Okay, so this should be to the town of Dunbar. Good news. Good little turnaround. <laughs> We're going to charge by the tag. Okay. <laughs> all right, town of Dunbar. Yep. Our names don't go here at all. As selectmen, we sign it. We just sign it. And our title should be under each name. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right, so do we have an uh, emergency on this one? It's been. Nine years, we can wait another couple of weeks. Years. Absolutely, yeah. Another two weeks won't hurt. <laughs> no. okay. Just the way that's worded, Lane would be. That's a very good point, Lane. I had noticed um, it. That after you get that uh, rewritten, can you send it back to our attorney just for a quick check? 
Because uh, I'm not an attorney. I know. Yeah, but, but you want to I do just that signed and... plenty of deeds before, and that's not how they should be. <laughs> oh, I understand <laughs> that, but this has already been approved in 2009. Do you want It's to... okay. It's just the wording of the deed lien that our attorney should look at. You know, just to make sure. Wait, I just want to make sure we have consensus there. Just yes. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. he may he may say I want it the town of Dunbarton Incorporated such and such. And, you know, he might want more yeah. legal than. I just know how that is. Okay. Yes. For the record, we tabled um, earlier. We talked about it, but the uh, gentleman who came in last week uh, talked about accepting roads that are partially completed. We, we would hold the bond and we allowed COs on it. It's got to have a public hearing. Public hearing will be announced Monday, no later than Monday in the paper. And we'll two weeks from uh, Monday, will be, uh, we'll have a public hearing and then sign. The they all move it to a Thursday, so probably Thursday. Okay. Gentlemen, you understand that? Yep. And it was brought to our attention in two documents in the RSA and also on our hard road to travel. And it was an oversight that we missed that. Did you have um, this electronically you can send to us? Yep. Okay. But it's in there. Just to give me some Thanksgiving reading. Okay. Also send the RSA. I like the RSA yeah. is even okay. more specific. Okay. And just uh, highlight the sections if you can that we're looking at. All right. Uh, public comment. I just have one quick thing. Uh, the Department of Justice grant that I, uh, I told the board about, we're going to try and get some equipment and do physical security upgrades. Um, I'm going to uh, put in for a segment. Could that be the roof? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who can jump through the hole up there? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to be putting in for uh, equipment, and I'm going to try and identify another standard on grant physical security upgrades. It's just a little bit easier on the grant side. So I'm going to be submitting that tomorrow. We're going to try and try and get some uh, tasers, replace some tasers, and some ballistic shields. For what do you do with the old ones? What's that? What do you do with the old tasers? Just use them for training. Oh. Yeah. You can use them for the office just... if you want. We'll keep one at Damn, every you desk. Try it out. I love to try it on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I want you to speak to the grant master about that. Make sure he's on board. <laughs> I sure will. You know, the, I, I, I'm <laughs> optimistic. They're doing twenty. And for, for the for the public, the chief Bermanard is our grant master. He has pursued more grants for this on behalf of this town, uh, and uh, he has been overwhelmingly successful. So thank, thank you for what you do. Thank you. So fingers crossed. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So go forth and all go forth and gain more grants. I sure will. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, Lee. I have nothing right now. <laughs> I, I know I have a lot, but I think it was. My brain a, I think just... overall, you did a lot of work on the uh, both of you on the uh, on the ways. Uh, we just got to go to the next step, finalize our proposals, and then bring it to us, and then we can go from there. Yeah. Justin, to you. Nothing today. Um, I met with the elevator people, started to install the elevator over there, mm -hmm. and they brought something to my attention. They actually brought it to um, Shukoin's, um project manager first. They said that um, once their installation is complete in another um, two, three, two three and a half weeks, weeks yeah, um, they said the, the biggest thing they're finding now in, in 2020, the 2019 code started being enforced and with the new code they have to have audio visual a dedicated phone line for the elevators mm -hmm. so that when people get stuck in them they're not calling up you know the police department this department that department so they have a, a means to um, have the alarm company know who's supposed to be contacted and all that um, they said that uh, they gave me a name of a control company that does the alarms. They also said BK Alarm is starting to become more familiar with it. The problem is these alarm companies aren't that familiar with the new code. So after their uh, elevator is done, the state won't sign off on the final inspection to it because they don't have this alarm um, company set up and have a service contract with them. So. I'm going to reach out if Lean gives me the number to BK Alarm because they are the company that was just used to upgrade that alarm in there. Um, How about the one that monitors our alarms? It's BK Alarm. Is that what they're called now? That's what they told me. That was uh, Pro that was Technology. Pro -technology. Pro -technology. Not our fire alarm, though. Yeah. Are they? Yep. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll check them too. Pro Technologies? Yeah, they're out of hooks. Yeah. yeah. Three there, very professional, very professional too. I thought yeah, I just talked to them last week for an issue we had, and they were, they were great. Yeah. yeah, so um, 
Um, I'll talk with the telephone company about getting a dedicated line just for that. Um, and also, um, we'll need to get set up for contract for that. So that may be something out of our maintenance budget that could be used this year or maybe it's next year but we need to get signed up for it so that when that is done it'll be usable because otherwise we'll have a nice finished building and we won't have that portion done okay. and they said it's we taken several months for these things to get lined up and in place so they wanted mm -hmm. me to get in the queue with it okay i'll send your phone number so just <laughs> another stumbling block or something <laughs> Uh, well, if it's cold, it's cold. But, but that is being installed now, and that's, uh, you know, there's two or three other major steps there um, with the electrical and a couple with the doors and hardware. Um, but uh, can everything's going to be winding down towards the end of this Can it be modified? Month. I mean, usually I, I see telephones like in behind a glass, uh, behind a little shelf or something on the uh, inside the elevator itself. Are we gonna I don't know. <coughs> the alarm companies are, or the elevator guys are going to wire everything up. This is just a service, a contract for the thing. Okay. Oh, so they yeah. have something it's in there. It's a right? line, a line, line. They'll need, saying. they'll have the lab line, but they'll also, it'll be a yearly inspection the that we'll have on that. So it's all setting up that whole program. Gotcha. Okay, good. We're not starting from scratch, in other words. Right. And I know BK Alarm is the one that did the fire alarm over in there for the electrical contract. That's because he was subbed out through the electrician because yeah. he doesn't do that work. Yeah. Okay. And ProTech, I think, since they... We we'll call them and check. Yeah. They might not do that portion of the work either, but we'll okay. check with them for sure. So we'll have two alarm monitoring companies doing that? If the if ProTech doesn't do elevators, then we may have to. Yeah. I, I like to see ProTech be our principal since we're happy with them and they're proven company. As long as they do it, I don't yeah. have any problem. I don't care who does it, to be honest with you. Well, we want to... I think one company is better to deal with than two. Yeah. And the price has got to be, the, the monitoring has got to be reasonable too. It's, it, they have been reasonable for a, all the different town buildings. Right. It's been very Dave, just, just think, uh, when I came on, that was like, a, uh, it was an albatross. I mean, every week we come in, the library alarms are going off, the yeah. transfer station was yeah. going, nothing worked. We were getting yeah. called all the time. Yeah. I said a few off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else, Dave? That's it for me. Okay. Uh, just for the public, I'll make a we're going to meet tomorrow. We're going to, if you recall, we had an issue with the paving of the parking lot. Uh, I'm going to be meeting with a contractor and the subcontractors of Mr. Chicoin. It wasn't the paving, it was the gravel underneath. Gravel underneath. Yeah, that's what was all part of the package, <coughs> paving package. And uh, we're going to get some clarification tomorrow uh, before we pay the bill. So it's a still a work in progress that was uh, due up from last week. Uh, we discussed and tabled it. We wanted to get some more information. Dave's got some initial information, but we want to hear it from the contractor. Yeah. And we're going to meet at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll meet here and walk over there and uh, chat with the... Uh, they think we're meeting here, so we can meet here and then we'll walk over because they're not going to come from the place. That's, that's, <laughs> fine. that's fine. So 7.30, who's bringing coffee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll have it. <laughs> Darn right. All right. Uh, ready to go get I'm one ready now. For, ready for a motion. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to adjourn. <coughs> so only contingent upon Dave. Seventeen. Uh, contingent upon Dave fixing the clock. Oh, we gotta fix that thing. You got a battery in there? Yeah. So moved.